ace of the Cape Cod Baseball League. From beautiful Polar Park in Worcester, Massachusetts, welcome to Wareham Gateman Baseball. It's the second annual Cape Cod Classic between the Gateman and the Braves. Welcome on into the Gateman Baseball Network, possibly the most beautiful shot we've had all season. What an amazing view. Thank you to the Woo Sox for having us. Jack, welcome to the Cape Cod Classic. Good one for Wareham, a division rivalry late in the summer. Yeah, this is a picturesque ballpark, and you can see why, reading from a Holy Cross sports economic professor, this was the most expensive minor league stadium ever built with a price tag nearing $160 million. You can see why. So an incredible venue for a game today. You, you walk in here, and your, your breath gets taken away. So the Cape League, already some nice fields. It's definitely a different vibe, but one that we're looking forward to when you've Late in the season, you're going to have a lot of monotony. Like To be able to be here at the end of the year and see this has been really cool. A breathtaking view, a pretty breathtaking pitching matchup. Will Coger, the only returning Gateman still on the roster, fitting he gets to pitch at the biggest game of the season. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he'll bounce back. He made his last start in his second start of the year against Orleans earlier last week. And it, he just, his A stuff really wasn't there. He didn't really struggle with control, but just couldn't miss a lot of bats. He got barreled up for a few home runs. Joe Oyama hit two homers off of him, and he's been a guy that's been in a late high leverage role all season long, got moved to a starter role in his last start and struggled a little bit after a lot of success. He was named an all-star. So interesting, interested to see what adjustments he makes and how he bounces back. Wareham and Bourne from Polar Park. Let's keep things rolling on a special edition of the leadoff spot. Back on the manager's show with Ryan Smythe and coach, we've got a different background behind us here at Polar Park. What's the energy around the team getting to play at this minor league stadium today? Oh, it's cool. I mean, they were all pretty pumped up. Uh, most of these guys play at some really good facilities at school too, but um, definitely after going through the summer with, with some of the Cape League fields, uh, it's a nice little treat for these guys to finish out um, at a field like this. And you get to play Bourne today, obviously, last time you faced them in a doubleheader. 1-1, one, one, lost one. What's the mindset going in facing the Braves? Uh, I mean, at this point, we're just we're trying to play baseball hard every day. Um, that's our goal as a team. It, uh, I don't think it it really matters um, who we're playing at this point. It's just I, I want our guys to perform and um, play the game the right way. And last night's win against Katua, you said, was a, a full team win. How much does that help the team at this point in the season just to close it out on a good note? I think it's awesome for our guys to know that everyone's contributing every single night. Um, you know, we've had some tough breaks along the season, and um, for us to pull out a, a full team win with a lot of guys being used um, in a tight ball game at home, um, on a first responder night with a good crowd. Um, that's always a, a, a good lasting impression, and we want to continue to do that um, the last couple games here. And Will Coger making his final start for you guys. He's been with the Gateman now for two years. What has his maturity and experience brought to the team? Uh, I mean, well, I only got to play against him last year, um, but I, I did remember him from last year, and, and even going into it this year, I know we've had conversations even before I met him on the phone. Um, just talking about his experience last year and things that he wanted to see changed and you know things he was looking to get out of the summer and uh, I think we've checked all those boxes off for him um, I know he's enjoyed his time um, he's played you know basically two different roles for us um, started out the year starting um, you know got to the middle of the year where we needed some somebody on the back end that we can we could go to um, had that role down really well and then um, you know, towards the end here, knew we needed some more starters and, and wanted to get back into that role. Um, so he's been a, a true team guy for us. Um, couldn't be uh, any happier for him. I think he's had a lot of success out here, and I think he's learned a lot about himself as a pitcher. Have you seen him Have you seen him grow in any specific ways as a pitcher or as a person? Yeah, I, I, a lot of times it, these guys come up here and they put so much pressure on themselves, and I get that. Um, a lot of guys are trying to make, make a lot of money out here, um, and, and they're trying to perform in front of